Hello my friends, today I'm going to share with you everything you need to know about ICON Blockchain Transmission Protocol, or BTP, the interoperability technology developed to help the ICON ecosystem achieve its long-standing goal to hyper-connect the world. And this ICON BTP explainer is another video in an ongoing series that was made possible by a grant awarded to my channel by the ICON Foundation to make educational content about the ICON ecosystem. So a big thank you to them for making the show possible. I've been excited since the beginning of planning this icon focused series of videos to cover this interoperability technology that Icon has been working on, dubbed Blockchain Transmission Protocol. And the reason for that is because I'm of the opinion that interoperability, or general purpose connectivity between many different heterogeneous blockchain networks, will represent the future of cryptocurrency and its ancillary use cases in their ultimate form, mass adoption, right? Today, you have thousands of blockchain networks that live in their own silos. And in recent years, you've seen the prevalence of bi-directional bridges that allow crypto assets to flow between two blockchains. And these solutions, though, are not necessarily sustainable long-term on their own because the attack surface and trust dynamics vary so widely depending on which bridge you're using and on which origin and destination chain they're being built. And it's no secret that the crypto ecosystem is in dire need of generalized protocols for cross-chain communications that can be audited and trusted for use across a wide variety of use cases in blockchains. And ICON's BTP protocol is designed to accomplish this goal. So what is BTP? In general, it's a communication standard that enables interoperability between heterogeneous blockchains. And acknowledging that not everyone is abreast of all the jargon that we often use in this space, it basically means that BTP enables blockchains that are constructed completely differently with different consensus algorithms, state models, and more to communicate. And if you look at ICON and Ethereum, for example, they're very, very different in the way they're built, the way they operate, the way they function, which means a generalized interoperability solution that can connect the two with adequate security and decentralization is a very beautiful thing. So if we were to define interoperability in this context, it could be described as the ability to effectuate the transfer of value, execution of coder services, and the exchange of data between different blockchain networks. In an interoperable blockchain ecosystem, that is, mass adoption becomes tangibly attainable because each blockchain network can double down on its own unique value proposition, do what it does best, and collaborate with others rather than competing to do everything well. So you're likely wondering as well how BTP works, and that's admittedly somewhat complex, and it relies on a set of smart contracts. But let me simplify this and present it in a view that I think will give you a clear picture of what the key points are and how this all functions behind the scenes. So let's use an example of a BTP transaction to illustrate this whole thing. So let's say we're making a transaction from the ICON network to the Ethereum network with a value of 50 ICX. First, the sender would send that 50 ICX to a smart contract called the service contract, where the fees are paid and those funds are locked. Then the service contract would post a message to another contract called the message center, which is monitored by a relay that shuttles the message containing the transaction details to the destination chain. So to Ethereum in this case. On the destination chain, the message center contract there on that blockchain receives that message from the relay and passes it to a verifier smart contract, which will either accept or reject that message based on the conditions that apply and the signatures. If approved, that message is then passed to the destination chain service contract where the same number of tokens are minted as wrapped ICX on the destination chain to be used at will. And that's generally how this works. In this example, there are generally four key elements that you need to know about. The service contract, the message center, the verifier contract, and the relay. The service contract is the smart contract layer that manages the business logic involved in the transfer of tokens or generally information across chains. The message center contract is responsible for aggregating all the BTP messages for a given blockchain. And the verifier contract is arguably the most critical to the security of the BTP protocol because it verifies the signatures and the context in each message that arrives on a destination blockchain. And then finally, the relay is basically any independent relay node that is responsible for passing messages from one blockchain to another via the message center contracts on either end.
In this model, the relays do not necessarily affect the security of the system because they're simply transitive entities who pass information from one chain to the next. That said, relays can affect BTP from an availability perspective because relays have to be up and functioning for this to work. So there's an economic incentive for relays to operate in a highly available and fault tolerant manner to prevent any such interruption to the availability of the service. Again, verifier contracts are the key to security here, not relays. Cryptography is the core operating mechanism for verifying messages that are passed between blockchains. That's key pun intended. In Icon's own specifications for BTP, I was struck by one sentence in particular that was related to this. Quote, BTP is as secure with one relay as it would be with 100 relays. Extra relays simply ensure more reliability and liveliness. And this does a great job of driving that idea home. For Icon specifically, BTP opens up a lot of potential opportunities, including but not limited to new development of dApps and applications increased liquidity from other chains flowing through to ICON, new fee markets for ICON, deeper integrations and composability with other DeFi ecosystems. I mean, for apps like Ohm and Balanced who already offer DEX and lending functionality on ICON, having access to liquidity from other blockchains more readily would be huge. And for NFT projects on ICON, like the Craft Marketplace, which is fantastic by the way, Having access to the huge NFT ecosystems on Solana and Ethereum would be a huge value add. And that value proposition is bi-directional as well, because ICON is no slouch in terms of liquidity and engaged community that could offer a lot to other ecosystems as well if the many apps and assets on ICON can flow freely in both directions. In order to catalyze the development of applications and services that use the BTP protocol, the ICON Foundation is readying up a big incentive program for the uptake of BTP, which will incentivize both new and existing applications to be built to adopt BTP and to prioritize the integration of this tech into their stack. And I'm personally very interested to see what this program entails in more detail, uh, but news has started to come out that this program will be to the tune of $200 million. And I'd be willing to wager that even projects built on other blockchains outside of ICON will qualify for this if they integrate BTP into their dApp. So we shall see. All this being said, one of the most critical areas that I wanna highlight is ICON's focus is not squarely being focused on its own ecosystem and success, but the collective crypto ecosystem at large. Its interoperability approach has long been centered on a general communication protocol that can hyper-connect the world, not just benefit ICON's own space or vision for how blockchains should be constructed. In this way, BTP is very clearly built for public good, not just to enrich the ICON ecosystem and blockchain itself. In alignment with this goal, ICON has already begun integration work with other notable blockchain projects and interoperability projects. And one of the ones that comes right to the top of my mind is Polkadot. ICON has partnered with Polkadot to ensure that uh, four of the top parachains on Polkadot's interoperability network, Akala, Moonbeam, Edgeware, and Plasm, are going to be integrated with BTP. And other integrations that are ongoing for BTP include Binance Smart Chain, Near Protocol, Harmony, and Algorand. So I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope this BTP explainer helped make the significance of this invention clear in its value proposition, its functionality, its design, just generally how it works. And I want to urge you to subscribe to the channel for more crypto content, including stuff about ICON. And until next time, wish you and your family a wonderful week ahead. Cheers.